Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on customizing the Django admin with a Django baton. Now of course I have made many videos on customizing the Django admin. Now in terms of customizing it with a specific theme I have made a video tutorial which you can find on the channel where I customize Django admin with a Jasmine. In this case we're going to use Django, Django baton so something a little bit different. So of course, like usual, to get started, all you need is a simple Django project up and running. So as you can see, mine is very straightforward. And all you wanna do is you just wanna make your default migrations if you have a newly set up project. So I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna say python manage.py migrate. All right, there we go. So I've made my default migrations. Let's follow the installation guide here. So what we need to do is install Django button. So I'm going to copy that and install it. All right, let's just give it a moment. There we go. So it's been installed. Next step two, we want to add baton or baton. Okay, and baton dot auto discover to installed apps. Now there is luckily a nice um, notice here for us. So baton must be placed before Django contrib dot admin and baton dot auto discover. Um, as the last app as we can see here. So I'm going to do exactly what they say. So button I'm going to put in my settings.py file under my list of installed apps and I'm going to just put it right here up top just above django.contrib.admin so that it overrides it. So that's obviously the reason why. And then button or button, I'm sorry I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. Um, I'm going to put at the end of my installed apps list. There we go. Perfect. Step three. So what I need to do now is replace django.contrib.admin in the project URLs and add button URLs. All right. So we can go to our base urls.py file. You can just remove this comment here. And they're telling us just to remove django.contrib.admin in the project URLs, which is of course this. So I'm just going to comment it out to be honest. And we need to anyway replace it with the following. So from button.autodiscover import admin. There we go. And we need the include function, it seems. So we can add that right there. And we need the URL for button here. And the reason we add the include function is so that we can include all the URLs that come with it by default, which we can add just below. So let's just space that out. All right, so make sure you've got the following set up here. Great, and we can move on next. And as you can see here, there is a message that they do to say here, if, you, if, we, if for some reason you get a no crypto library available, when using the Google Analytics Index, then you can install the following package. Okay, so just some extra information for you. Next, what we can do is what I like to do is just run my server just to make sure that there aren't any errors or whatnot. All right, that looks good. All right, so what we can do now is just create a super user. So I'm going to say python manage.py create super user. And I'm going to say admin 101 as an example, email skip, add in a password. Okay. And I want to now run my server. Perfect. And now I can head on to my application and say forward slash admin. And there we go. We can see that it has a unique and quite a cool looking user interface for the Django admin page. I will zoom in just a little bit so you can see. And now you can enter in your credentials accordingly. All right, so once you've entered in your credentials, you can log in to your admin page. And as you can see, we have a snazzy looking sort of user interface. So something different here and our Django admin page has been customized using Baton. And as we can see, we have our default authentication and authorization app with our user model and group model here. We can see we've got some nice icons here for our actions. So a nice logout icon for logging out change password. We can see we can view our site by clicking on the following. And of course we can um, manage our settings accordingly. All right, so let's say if I click on users, let's see the user interface. Okay, so it looks quite nice. So if I were to go ahead and add a user, 
we can see we've got some nice sort of um, form validation in place here for our username, for our fields, our input fields. And we can see we have some nice uh, green buttons here. Everything looks a little bit more concise in a manner of speaking. And we can see that the UI has been completely transformed for us in our use case. And we can also go to the home page and there we are back to where we began. And on the left hand side, of course, we can see um, the apps that we have. So our default all app is here on the left. And of course, if we have more um, apps that we create, and of course, if we register our models, it should um, show here on the left hand side a little bit more um, strategically for our use case. All right, guys, so that's it for this lecture. So very short. I just wanted to show you how you, an alternate way into customizing your Django admin. So the more options you have, the more that you have to pick from and decide. But that's it for this lecture. And of course, thank you for the support as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.